Once upon a time, there was a kingdom called Potpourri, where farms overflowed with produce, the cities were clean, the countryside safe, and the borders secure. Potpourri's fortune was due to its good and noble ruler, King Medley I. With lovely Queen Melange at his side, Medley had ruled with justice and wisdom for a score of years. I proclaim that all my subjects be given ten free chickens. I proclaim that every Wednesday will be a holiday. Only one shadow darkened the king's sunny realm. Melange had borne him no sons, only twin daughters, the princesses Mish and Mosh. As the king observed his final rest approaching, he was distraught that he had no heir to the throne. Is anything wrong, my royal lovey poo? I'm distraught about not having a male heir. Oh dear, now I'm distraught too. Have a fig, your highness. It is said they cure distraughtness. Unknown to Medley and Melange, Potpourri's prime minister, a grim fellow named Salmagundi, was responsible for the couple's lack of sons. For years he'd been treating her figs with a potion which rendered her barren. He hoped to take advantage of the lack of legal heir by assuming the throne himself. That evening, King Medley had an inspiration. I have an inspiration! That's nice, dear. Summon my head decree writer! Hear ye, hear ye! Crowds gathered to hear the royal proclamation. The king decrees that his daughters, Mish and Mosh, are hereby appointed official heirs to the throne of Popery! Extra, extra, read all about it! Let's go to Myrtle from Pastiche. Makes 47 who think the decree is a good idea and two who think it stinks. Now, message from New and Improved's Harbinger's Fairy Dust. You sent for us, boss? Yes. Kidnap Princess Mish and Princess Mosh and imprison them at this location. <laughs> I'm so worried about Father. Yes, he's been so distraught lately. Hmm. Maybe he should eat more figs. Hmm. As weeks passed with no sign of Mission Mosh, King Medley withdrew from life and from his kingly duties. His depression infected the entire kingdom. Crops withered, pickpockets proliferated, the royal gardens choked with weeds. Neighboring kingdoms began stirring with ambition. Medley took seriously ill. It appeared that Salmagundi's plan would succeed. Until exciting news reached the castle. Lovely poo, exciting news has reached the castle. Yes, my dear. Two princes from a distant land have crossed our border. They come to search for our daughters. Heartened by this news, Medley rose from his deathbed. That evening... Your Majesty, I am Prince Hodge. And I am Prince Podge, Your Majesty. I have traveled in disguise. As have I, in order to gather information. I have learned that your daughters were kidnapped. And are being held a prisoner. By none other than your own... Prime Minister... Salma Gundy. Salma Gundy? I'm flabbergasted. That is why I... Enter the palace... Unannounced. I, I trust, trust no one. Mende summoned his most trusted guards, but Salma Gundy had vanished without a trace. Bring me the head of Salma Gundy, and you may choose any treasure from the royal vault. Find my precious daughters, and you shall have a greater treasure still. Whoever finds Mish and 
Bosch may wed the princess of his choice and will become the next king of Popery. Now go and pray you return while there is still breath in this old body. Be back before you even know I'm gone. Not a moment to waste. And thus began the epic search of Hodge and Podge.